And food insecurity has been an ongoing problem during the pandemic, but there's more help on the way. There is, yeah. In fact, the San Francisco Marin Food Bank is expanding its warehouse to try and provide more for more people. Crown for Sarah Stinson in the city with the story. Good morning, Sarah. Yeah, James Daria, the need is just growing. It's continued throughout the pandemic. They used to serve about 32,000 households, and now they're serving about 55,000 households. That's a lot of people in need of food. So they're expanding out in their parking lot. This is only one part of it. They're actually expanding up in the north part of the parking lot to uh, have more space. The expansion has been in the works for five years, originally planned to expand to distribute 75 million pounds of food by 24. But get this, the food bank is on track to serve that much food this year. The, so now the food bank's really building to sustain, not to expand. The warehouse here in San Francisco is the heart of the food bank, circulating food out to the Bay Area, to different community pantries. So this extra space is majorly needed. Joining us now is Michael Workula, the COO of the San Francisco uh, Marin Food Bank. Tell me more about this expansion and how critical it is. I bet you didn't expect to need it as much as you do now. No, none of us really expected uh, any of this to happen over the past year. And the need in the community has just uh, skyrocketed. Uh, we were space constrained prior to the pandemic, which is why we were planning to expand. And this has just reinforced the need. So we'll be expanding by th over 30,000 square feet, which will give us a lot, of, lot more capacity to be able to serve the community. Yeah, because right now you're really you're working as fast as you can to serve as many people as you can. Talk to me a little bit more about the need that you've seen. Well, it's 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 grown tremendously uh, to the point you raised. We were serving 32,000 households prior to the pandemic. During the peak of the pandemic, it was over 60,000 households, and it's still well over 50,000. The you know the vaccine is is hopefully going to get the pandemic under control, but hunger persists, and and we are really trying to step up to meet that need today in a very very space constrained environment. So what we're trying to do is lay the foundation to be able to better serve the community and and grow and build from here. Yeah, we're going to continue to see side effects from the pandemic. And as you said, that's going to be hunger. And so serving more people, you're going to need more volunteers, more workers. Tell me, tell the community at home what they can do to help. Sure. Well, uh, if you need help, if you need food, go to our website. There's a fine food uh uh, page on the website to help you find assistance if you need it. If you have the opportunity to help help us serve the community, we have a huge need for volunteers. The need has exploded as we've been able to provide more food out into the community through more programs, a huge home delivered grocery program, and we need volunteers to sustain that. Yeah, and then you also have some job openings, which is kind of rare to come by these days. Yeah, we've grown our staff a lot uh, by like over 30% since the start of the pandemic. And, and we have a number of job openings, which are also on our website. So if you're interested in joining us and serving the community, we would welcome that. Yeah, thank you so much. And we're going to continue to cover this this morning. Thank you for joining us, Michael. There is, again, on their website, you can figure out exactly how you can help. Now, they're going to be breaking ground on this project in the north side of the warehouse um, by the end of May and then they hope to have that done within the year uh, but again even this expansion has really become in survival mode they need this space so they can fit more food and they can serve thousands of more families reporting live in San Francisco Sarah Stinson back to you all right thanks Sarah